If you own a mirrorless camera, today I am going to teach you an essential lesson. So listen up and let's get started. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Eric and I am a photographer based in Boston, Massachusetts and also in Bangkok, Thailand. If you want to see my adventures in Thailand, I have a whole other channel devoted to that. I will link it right here so you can watch it after this video. So quick story before we get started, my first camera was the Sony a7S II. And after my first gig, I noticed a grayish fuzzy dot on the image and I had no idea what it was. So I called my local camera store and they explained to me that this was a sensor spot. And I had no idea what a sensor spot was, but they explained that it's when dust or debris gets behind the lens and onto the actual camera sensor and it causes these sort of dots or fuzzy, fuzzy marks on the image. If you're shooting photos, it's not a huge deal because it's very easy to remove these dots with the spot removal tool in Lightroom. But if you're shooting video, it's a complete nightmare. You basically have to go frame by frame and uh, cut out each dot. And if you've got multiple sensor spots, then good luck, it's gonna take you forever. And that's what happened to me at my first gig. So ever since then, I pay a lot of attention to keeping my sensor clean. And so I rarely, rarely get these kinds of sensor spots anymore. I've got the Sony a7 III here. I use this mainly for photos, but also for video sometimes. Next, you're going to need the cleaning solution. I only recommend one solution. It's the Eclipse brand solution. I'm gonna link it in the description below. You should also double check, if you don't have a Sony Alpha camera or if you have a different brand, you should always double check on Eclipse's website that this solution is gonna be okay for your camera because I know some sensors may have special proprietary elements where this solution wouldn't be the best for it. But for my Sony cameras, it's perfect. Also, it usually comes in a much bigger bottle, but this is just a small travel size bottle I have. I just keep this in my bag in case I'm on an important shoot and some dust or something gets on my sensor and I can't blow it off with the blower. Speaking of which, this should be your first line of defense. Get yourself a good blower. So this is the, uh, I think you pronounce it Giotto's Rocket Air Blower. This is actually the small one I think they have. I got the small just so I can keep it in my bag a little easier, but um, the bigger it is, the more powerful it'll be, the easier it will, it will be to blow dust off because sometimes you get dust on that sensor and it's just super stubborn and uh, yeah, it doesn't wanna come off. So my first line of defense is always the blower. Super easy to use when you're changing lenses. I just peek inside, see if there are any dust particles, and if there are, I'll just give it a quick blow. And usually, I've got a clean sensor after that. The problem is, if you let the dust build up, I find that it's a lot harder to get off, and that's when we're gonna have to go to plan B. So normally when I'm changing lenses, I'll take a little peek inside to make sure there are no dust particles. If there are, if there's something in there, I'll just give it a quick blow. And usually after that, we're good to go. Notice when I did that, I held the camera upside down. This is so whatever gets blown around in there falls out of the camera. If you hold the camera right side up, whatever dust you blow around, is gonna settle back onto the sensor and you don't want that. So hold the camera upside down. Assuming you used your blower and you've still got pesky dust on the sensor, then we're gonna move to this solution. I actually also use this to clean my lenses, um, but it's great for cleaning sensors as well. The next thing you're gonna need are these little swab sticks. Um, you can buy these in boxes. I, I don't know how many come in a box. I think it's like 10 or 20 in a box. Um, and I'll also keep a few of these in my bag just for emergency cases. These two things right here are the key to keeping your sensor super clean. Now, before I show you how to do it, I just wanna point out that this size is specific to a full frame camera. It's exactly the width of the sensor. If you have an APS-C size sensor, they make smaller sizes. So you just wanna buy the correct size for your camera. I will also link these in the description below. So this is what you're gonna do. First thing, turn your camera on and go to the menu, uh, go to the tools menu and go to the self-cleaning mode. And the reason for this is not because the self-cleaning mode really cleans your sensor that well, because it really doesn't. If you've ever uh, 
you're, if you've ever tried it. The reason to do this is because the a7 III and a lot of other cameras have IBIS, in-body image stabilization, and the sensor can actually move around a little bit. And you don't want it to be moving while you're cleaning it. So if you run the cleaning mode, you'll see at the end it says auto cleaning is finished, turn the power off. You can also clean the image sensor manually if necessary. So just run the cleaning mode, it won't really do anything. Um, then shut the power off and now you're ready to clean. So I'll take the lens off and lay the camera on its back with the sensor up. Next, I'm going to take out one of these sensor cleaning sticks. It's important to know that these sensor cleaning sticks are a one-time use. You're going to give it one swipe in each direction and then you're going to be done with this stick. You don't wanna use this stick multiple times. You wanna use a fresh one every time. Next, you're going to take your cleaning fluid and just put two drops on each side of the stick. Now, when I first started doing this, when I first got into cleaning my own camera, um, I couldn't quite get it right. I felt like I either had too little fluid or too much and would leave streaks on the sensor, which it went, you know, the streaks weren't a big deal. You just clean it again, but I couldn't figure out how to get like a good clean. And a guy at the local camera store gave me a big tip, which is put the fluid on and then just kind of wave it around for a few seconds. I don't know if this is some sort of magic, if this is like witchcraft, but as soon as I started putting a few drops on and waving it around like this, I got no streaks and I get a perfect clean every time. I don't know if maybe some of the excess fluid evaporates or it gets absorbed more. I don't know, but it was a great tip, so that's why I'm telling you. Once you've got the fluid on your cleaning stick, you're going to place it inside of where the sensor is on one end at a 45 degree angle and with light pressure swipe from left to right. Then without taking the stick off the center, you're going to flip it to the other side so it's 45 degrees facing the other way and go from right to left. So now you've cleaned it once in each direction using each side of the sensor stick. So let me give it a go. So I'll put it in here on the left side all the way to the side. I'll put light pressure, go from left to right. Then I won't pick it up. I'll keep it in there and go from right to left. And then I'll give it a quick look. I'm looking to make sure there's no dust particles left on the sensor and that there are no streaks from excess fluid. So I know I made that look pretty easy, but trust me, it takes some practice. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, between getting the right amount of fluid on the stick and also applying the right amount of pressure, uh, it's just something that you you know you get better at over time. Don't worry if it takes you two or three or four attempts to get a clean sensor, especially if your sensor is really dirty and full of all kinds of debris. Uh, you might go through a few of these sticks before you get a clean sensor. So once it's clean, I'm gonna throw my lens back on so it doesn't get dirty. And honestly, a big part of keeping your sensor clean is just preventing stuff from getting in there in the first place. So whenever I change lenses, I always hold the camera upside down like this, take the lens off, and then put the new lens on while the camera is upside down. This helps so that any dust in the air or anything floating around has a hard time falling into the camera body and landing on the sensor. This is especially important if you are outside where there's wind and things like dirt or pollen or whatever blowing around in the air. So definitely be careful when you change lenses. So that is it for today's video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, do me a favor and smash the like button. And if you want to see more videos about photography and living the mirrorless life, then subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.